To the Anarchy Projects, we finally put my 79 back together. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Roy, good to see you again. So, last week it would have been for you guys, I painted the 79 um, in the Raptor liner. And so, yeah, this week it's time to do a little bit more of that. So, on the bench here, I've got my grill. Um, and a couple of bumper trim pieces. So because it's a GXL bumper, I've got a chrome piece in the middle and then the two little flare extensions. Um, and then this is an old Land Cruiser badge, which I'm still not sure whether that's gonna go back on the car or not. Um, but yeah, for now I'm gonna paint it. And if I can find my paint, here it is. So the paint I got, I wanted to get Raptor liner again um, in black, but instead I got well, the shop, the shop I went to, my paint shop, didn't have Raptor in cans. Um, I didn't want to buy a whole 4-litre kit. So I bought this stuff from HB Body called 955 Tough Liner. Um, and it's essentially the same. It's got the same little cap, so it'll work on an um, underbody gun. I basically got to scuff this stuff up with 180 grit, um, hit it with some etch primer just out of a can. I just got some Dulux Bunnings etch primer. Um, and then, yeah, this came with a hardener as well which is right here. So it came with a little hardener tin and same style as the Raptor liner. You just tip the hardener in, give it a good shake up um, and yeah, hose it on. So as with any paint job, preparation is 90% of the work um, and I'm probably not doing this properly, but I don't need this grill or bumper bar to last very long. Both will be replaced with custom items down the track. Alrighty, everything's sanded. Um, I've scuffed it all up with 180 grit. I've wiped it down with uh, wax and grease remover. So I've got here a can of Dulux Metal Shield Etch Primer. Probably not the best thing for the plastic, but it'll do something. Um, I've hung up my Superflex arms as well. So that's a kit. Well, it's another story for another day, but I'll tell you about them when I'm putting them in the car. But yeah, I picked those up cheap and they're a bit of a mishmash of colors. I don't want them silver because I'll get defected. So we're going to paint those as well while I'm going. I've got a liter of the stuff. So yeah, let's get some primer on. I have heard a myth that spray paint, particularly two-pack paint, can cause cancer. That isn't exactly true, but it can cause asthma, so it's a great idea to wear a P100 mask like I am here. guys we made it uh, I've just moved the car in because yeah it's literally just started raining but I got all of this painted um, including my superior superflex arms I think yeah I think they're superflex so yeah it's all looking freaking good the texture I got very similar to the Raptor that's on the cab so Oh, the lighting is really bad in here, but yeah, it's um, it's a pretty similar texture. So yeah, all that's left to do now is to wait for it to dry, wait for the rain to go away, or until 72 hours from when this stuff was put on, which is tomorrow, Arvo. So we'll work it out. 
Um, but yeah, then we can start putting stuff back together. found works is two little cable ties there's two little square holes and normally there's like a one piece clip that's like twenty dollars a side from Toyota or something stupid so I normally just go up in here with a cable tie through each of the two square holes and then you can see what's going on in there um, and just zip it up so and then if you ever need to undo it you just go in here with a razor blade and just or a Stanley knife or whatever and just zip down there so yeah cool little trick Alrighty guys, time I stop for a couple of seconds and tell you what's going on here. So, Ella was filming, but she's had to go to work, so thanks Ella. Um, I've just fitted these cut snake, or this cut, cut snake flare, the other one's still just taped on. Um, what I've done is gone around the back edge where it wasn't fitting nicely, and just take, taken a little chunk out of there with the flapper disc on the grinder, and down there as well. Genuine cut snake, fellas, get around it. Anyway, um, I've just fitted it up with the provided self tappers, so these little screws for now. Um, I probably won't get to it in this video. I'm going to go through and change these out for nut certs with an M6 um, stainless button head screw bolt thingo. Uh, we got the bumper bar on and the front end is looking absolutely mint. This doesn't line up beautifully um, with the cut snake flare, but the bumper will be going down the track anyway. I'm going to swap the bumper out for a custom made bull bar um, yeah in a few months uh, I would be putting this little panel on but the clippy set the clip set to bolt it in is still coming um, I just got my new wiper arms um, assembly today so I went to fit those last week and found out that the yeah all the bearings in them are flogged out um, what else has happened oh, I put some custom <laughs> I put some eBay blinkers in. Um, I've been defected for those on the 105 before, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, I've reassembled a few little things like the grill, the uh, hood pieces in, um, the finger me jiggers, the mirrors on. I'm waiting for some clips for the driver's side window rubber, uh, lower window rubber. Other than that, um, I got underneath on the weekend and sprayed it all um, flat black. So, did a lot of rust repair and um, fixed the ladder. New headlights are in, grills in, we're going all right. Um, yeah, let's get the other flare fixed up. I'll probably just time lapse this because I don't have Ella here to film. So, let's get stuck in. If you've got a keen eye, you'll notice that the car has dropped down a couple of inches. Uh, I fitted some secondhand stock suspension off Marketplace, just temporarily. 
because the old stuff was rusty and an old roofing nail and ready for the bin. So once the flares were done, it was time to refit the tray. The excavator makes a great little yard crane for things like that. Even though it's not heavy, it just saves my back. Alrighty, that's it for this week. The car is looking phenomenal. I'm um, really happy with how the Black Raptor tied in with the um, Sandy Raptor. And it just looks, yeah, it looks so good, man. Really happy with it. Coming along really well. So we're almost ready for our Rego, so that shouldn't be too far away. I've got a bit of a deadline in mind for that. Um, but yeah, just, I'm just really chuffed with it. Um, yeah, the last week's video went really well. So if you've subscribed since last week, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Um, anybody that's not subscribed, please consider subscribing because some awesome stuff happening. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.